having a super happy and cozy day. I am so excited for this video. I don't even know what I'm gonna title it yet because it is gonna be a decorate with me, a clean with me, a cook with me, a host with me. It is gonna be so many things and it's just gonna be so fun because I'm spending the day at home, my favorite place to be. You guys know I'm a homebody and I love just home life, home decor, and all that good stuff. So I'm really excited to be partnering with Bed Bath & Beyond for today's video. They have so many incredible pieces for your home and gifts for the holidays and holiday decor and kitchen gear. They have it all. That's why it's called Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> so I'm excited to show you some of the pieces that I picked out and some of the gifts. So the first thing we're gonna do today is we are going to spruce up some of the decor we have in our apartment. So if you're kind of new here, my husband and I, we just got married last February and we're high school sweethearts. We're fresh out of college, like young little newlyweds. So a lot of our furniture and like random little things Brandon just had in college or I had in college and then we kind of just like brought it all together and tried to make it work. So there's some pieces that I've been really wanting to kind of upgrade for more stylized pieces. So I'm, I'm gonna showcase giving my little apartment a glow up. That's the first thing we're gonna do. And then we're gonna vacuum and clean a bit and then we're gonna cook dinner and bake a little birthday surprise for Brandon because his birthday is on Monday and I'm baking him some brownies and Reese's. I just got a mix so that should be easy. And then his family's gonna come over and we're gonna do a little game night and I'm gonna have like appetizers and brownies obviously for them so we're gonna host a little party and I think that's it so it's gonna be a fun day but first and foremost let's get decorating okay so this is our one and only bedroom and the first thing I wanted to update is I've been wanting some euro pillows for our bed because I love our bed I think it's really cute <laughs> It's kind of looking bumpy right now, but I really like it. But the thing is, we don't have a bed frame or a headboard at all. Um, we just have like a little stand. So it kind of looks like a little not put together. So I thought an easy fix would be to add some Euro pillows at the back to kind of add some height. So I ordered two from Bed Bath & Beyond and they are so comfy. I ordered the Euro pillows and then the two shams and I just wanted to do all white because I love just all white sheets because then it's really easy to clean. You can just bleach them and it just looks so crisp and fresh. So I love that. So I'm going to put these Euro pillows behind our regular pillows and hopefully our bed will look a little more luxurious. Look at this luxurious bed. Don't you just want to plop down? Okay, the next thing I want to update is this noise machine. This looks like it's from the 1800s. It is like such a strange color and looks so old. It's vintage, it's cute, but I think it's definitely time for an upgrade. have a noise machine are you an infant are you a baby <laughs> but no we are not clearly um we just like it it's really nice to have the fan on and then the noise machine and thankfully we don't have noisy neighbors but if you do have noisy neighbors like this would be crucial um and we really really love like it's super relaxing and will block out any sound if it's noisy outside so i highly recommend and i'm excited to show you the one i got from bed bath and beyond because it is so much more discreet and it's also this nice white color look at it it just looks like a little speaker it's so perfect and we already tested out the noises because like once you've been using a noise machine for years and then you switch it you want to make sure like the noises are equally as great or better and it's awesome so very happy about that okay folks now we are in the restroom and we are going to replace these stunning bath rugs Here's one here. They're just so tiny. Brandon has had these literally since he was in college, started college like 
six years ago. <laughs> so I think we can get rid of these, but they're still good. Like we took care of them and I wash them frequently. So I'll just fold them up and give them away um, to Goodwill or something. So we aren't just gonna throw them away, but they are not sparking joy in my life anymore. I'm excited to show you the new ones we got. It's part of the French Connection Home from Bed Bath & Beyond, and it's set of two cotton bath rugs, and I love how big they are. I mean, the ones we had were just so teeny tiny, and of course, I love the brightness of the white, and again, like if I need to bleach a stain out, it makes it a little easier that it's a white color, so love it, love it, love it. Also, side note, everything that I'm showing you will be linked in my description in case you want to get some matching bath rugs or some other things I'm going to show you. I don't want to spoil anything yet, but I'm having so much fun sprucing up our apartment. Okay, the next thing I'm switching up is our paper towel holder. It's fine now, but it's still like lightweight and flimsy that like when you pull a paper towel, it just kind of comes with you, the whole thing. Oh my goodness, sorry, that noise was atrocious. <laughs> But I had to show you. I just had to show you why I have the urge to give it a little facelift. So I picked out this stunning one from Bed Bath & Beyond. It is a marble paper towel stand. And I just love how simple it is. Like it doesn't have this extra little knick-knack thing right here. It's just nice and simple and clean and it's heavy, which is great because it won't, like, <laughs> the whole thing won't come with you when you just take one paper towel. Okay, our last little home glow up is our utensil holder. This is just a stainless steel one that Brandon had in college and it's it's cool, it's fine. It's just not my thing, it's just not my look and it gets like these little, it's not that easy to clean because it's like this stainless steel material. So I picked out this beautiful one from Bed Bath & Beyond and it kind of already matches our fruit bowl back there so it just goes really nice with the rest of the things we have going on. And it's a little wider mouth too so we can fit more utensils which is amazing because as you will see I'm ever growing my kitchen supplies because you guys know I love cooking so this is perfect. that little apartment makeover. I had a lot of fun and love all the new pieces. So now we're gonna make our brownies for Brandon and it's gonna smell so obvious. Like he's gonna know I made brownies but I want it to be a surprise so we'll see when he comes home. But I have two candles. He's turning 25 so I got a two and a five and then I got this brownie mix and I unwrapped a lot of Reese's that we just had in our pantry and I'm going to put the Reese's in the brownies because he loves Reese's and chocolate like peanut butter chocolate is our favorite combo so I think he's really gonna love that. Also I realized I don't have a brownie pan I should have ordered that from Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll have to do that later tonight but I have this pie dish, which hopefully will do the trick. Also, I love that my pie dish matches my new utensil holder, like almost exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. But I'm thinking it'll be okay. I'll just add some butter or something at the bottom just to be safe, but I think we'll be okay. It's looking good, I hope. I hope this pan is okay. So I put like half of the batter on the bottom and then I like crumbled up a bunch of Reese's, probably about five of them. Um, it's like, it better taste good. It's literally just chocolate brownies and Reese's. It'd be really hard to mess that up, but you never know. I'm just worried about the pan, honestly. 
So I'm just gonna add the rest on the top and then I'm gonna sprinkle some more Reese's to kind of be the cherry on top, but it'll be the Reese's on top. I'm kind of running out of batter though. I don't know if it'll spread out among all of my middle Reese's. That is my dilemma here. are baking and before we start cleaning a bit I wanted to show you some gift ideas that I snagged from Bed Bath & Beyond because I know Christmas is so soon and if you struggle with like giving gifts or gift ideas hopefully some of these will help you so this first one <laughs> is kind of a gift for myself because we needed one but I got this Le Croissant Le Croissant I don't know how to say it. Le Crescent. I want to say Le Croissant. <laughs> but it's like Le Crescent um, Mortar and Pestle from Bed Bath & Beyond. And it's... I got the color white. But you can do a lot of different things with this. But basically it's good for crushing garlic or making guacamole or hummus. That's basically what it's used for. Or like a little sauce or paste. And I've been wanting one for a while, so when I saw this on their site, I definitely wanted to grab it. And it's just such great quality. And it matches everything else that I'm getting, like my utensil holder and all that good stuff. So I loved that, so that was a little gift for me. I'm guilty of doing that sometimes. Okay, the next thing I got was this Drink Local Pint Glass. And this is actually for my mom's husband and it's hard for me to get gifts for like adult males. Females, like I get you more, but males, it's really hard, but I know they like to go to like local breweries and stuff, so I thought this was really cool. And it's awesome because the eye is the Florida State outline, so I thought that was super cute and a fun, easy, simple little gift. And then this next thing is really fun. So Bed Bath & Beyond has a lot of games, actually, like board games and games like this. So this is Can Jam Splash, and I got this for my brother-in-law and kind of Brandon because they love to play it together. But we've played the regular size Can Jam and it's really, really fun. But then I saw this Can Jam Splash one and I thought this would be awesome. And it's nice because it's kind of miniature because the actual regular Can Jam is huge and I don't know like if they have room to store that. So I thought this was a little more practical and didn't take up as much space. So this is just kind of like a fun little gift idea. And then for my sister-in-law, sister in love, I like to call her. Um, I got her this custom, this personalized custom robe and it looks absolutely delicious. It looks like the softest thing. I like don't want to take it out of the, the plastic because I want to keep it nice and clean and white for her. But it says her name. Isn't that so cool? So you can customize it and I even picked the color thread for it. So I just think that is so cool. And Bed Bath & Beyond has a lot of customizable gifts, so I love that. And she's about to give birth to our nephew, so I thought like a cozy robe would be perfect for those long nights she's going to have nursing and all that good stuff. So yeah, okay, the last gift idea is something that I got for my mom. I told my family not to watch my videos for like the next month because I'm sharing so many gifts um, and spoiling it for them, but lots of them don't even watch it anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Um, if this is the illuminations variable lighting three setting mirror and I just knew she wanted one and Bed Bath & Beyond had like a few different ones to choose from so I thought that was perfect and I actually kind of need one of these too but I'll give it to my mom I won't be selfish and it's so great for like plucking your hair like your eyebrows and everywhere else <laughs> so I think she'll really like this one Okay, so now we are going to vacuum a bit, kind of clean up, and I don't think I've vacuumed this week yet in our house. Like, my hair is just everywhere, so we definitely need a vacuum, and then we'll start on dinner. The 
brownie seriously smells so good and it still has so much time left but it's getting nice and crispy around the edges i'm praying it doesn't burn in this pan okay i'm about to get a head start on dinner and tonight i am making dutch oven lasagna vegetarian lasagna with lots of cheese though and i got this dutch oven from bed bath and beyond and it is truly stunning it's from aisha curry's line and i just love the look of it and dutch ovens are I've learned are an essential. I have tried to make many recipes, but I didn't have a Dutch oven, so like I ended up not making them. Um, but I'm really excited to try the, uh, the Dutch oven lasagna tonight, and this is just gonna look so pretty in my kitchen. Also, I had to give a shout out to my air fryer, my beloved air fryer, which I also got from Bed Bath & Beyond, and I am truly obsessed if you follow me on Instagram. You know my obsession is so real because I'm always posting about it and cooking with it. It's seriously the most efficient thing ever and I didn't understand like what the big deal is about it until I started using it. But basically it's like an oven, a miniature oven and everything cooks so quickly since it is smaller than your oven obviously. Um, so everything cooks super quick, quick. I make sweet potato fries and just like dice sweet potatoes all the time. That's probably my favorite thing to make in it. But I also have cooked plenty of veggies in it as well. And it's just great. So I'll link the one I have down below. Highly, highly recommend. It is quite big though. So make sure you have like the space to store it or if like, like you don't mind putting it on your counter. So thumbs up for the air fryer. <laughs> Our home smells like magic. I always underbake um, brownies and cookies because we love like the gooey half-baked kind of deal. So I didn't even test if it's cooked in the middle because I kind of hope it isn't cooked all the way. And now I am going to crush the Reese's on top. oven so beautiful and working so nicely the lasagna is bubbling here let me show you a little look I'm hungry I'm starting to get a little hangry I feel it so hopefully it's done it's all about the pasta we gotta wait for the pasta to cook through because everything else is like warm and stuff my mouth <laughs> mm -hmm. dinner is served I, I'll link the recipe in my description but I made a veggie lasagna but I used a meat recipe for lasagna I just didn't add the meat
I finally found something to put in my air fryer. <laughs> I always will find an excuse to use my air fryer, yeah, but it's four, this four, hold eight. the corn appetizer four, from Trader Joe's. I literally cooked it in like five minutes. So good. And that's it the party's over I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had fun cleaning and cooking and decorating with me and hosting it was such a fun night and I loved celebrating B but again if you'd like to shop any of the things I showed you in this video I'll link them all below and I can't wait to see you guys soon <laughs>